Hey, hey everybody. So today we have a horse and he's obviously seen better days. Um, looks like he's been laying down a lot, uh, starting to lose a little bit of weight. If you want to look at his feet, you'll be able to see right away why he lays down so much. This horse is extremely uncomfortable and has a very hard time bearing weight. You see his front, he is standing. I talk about it all the time, how this heel gets so long that it's kind of, you'd have to imagine what it'd be like to stand on a softball or a banana all day. It'd be really hard to, to uh, find where to, where to balance on it. But this horse, he can't really get away from it. If you wanna look at the hinds, we've got some major twisting going on. This medial heel, you can actually see the bottom of the, the top of the hoof capsule underneath. A ton of lateral flare, it's actually twisting. I, I don't know how well we'll be able to fix up these, these hind feet. Whenever we have medial lateral distortion like this, it's really tough to fix up and make it back to anatomically correct. I think we'll be able to get these fronts looking pretty good. The hinds will be kind of hard. Um, but uh, best thing we can do is uh, just to jump right into it and uh, see how we can help this guy out today uh, get a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna try to explain the best we can what I, what I want to do today. So you can usually tell, and this isn't, this isn't a hard set rule, there's a bone underneath the hoof capsule called the coffin bone. And this is this bone right here. The first about half inch of growth from the coronary band down is usually the same angle that my coffin bone is going to be. I'm imagining that this coffin bone is in there. It's kind of hard for me to see but I actually think it's kind of pointing down a little bit. But regardless, I'm gonna play this as safe as I can. I am going to take a reciprocating saw and chop off all this excess growth because this would take a long time to do with nippers. I'll probably cut it off somewhere right there. And then we're gonna start leveling out these heels to give this horse a flat surface to stand on. On these hind feet, we have kind of the opposite problem where the coffin bone isn't pointing up or down but I'm imagining that it's a little bit twisted. And this is what makes these hind feet so hard to get right. When they're twisted, when they have bad medial lateral imbalance and a lot of distortion, it's gonna be really hard for, for me to find a good, solid, flat weight bearing surface for these hind feet. But that's just a little bit of anatomy for you. We've got three bones, long pastern, short pastern, coffin bone, and they start here and go down and uh, the idea is to figure out what angle our, pat, our coffin bone's at and try to get a flat surface for this horse to stand on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting. This is a brand new blade, so you are gonna see red paint. Um, this is, it's not gonna be blood. Um, it's just red paint uh, kind of staining the, the inside of the hoof wall. Okay, so like I said, that's not anything coming from the horse's anatomy or that's not blood vessels just paint so i don't want anybody worrying that we just chopped them off into the sensitive structures because we're still quite a ways away from that Okay, so like I said, you know, this is just a really tough surface for the horse to stand on. So we're gonna just take it all the way down. Hopefully we can get it all the way down to about as close to the bulbs as we can. He'll like that a lot better.
these little red marks are just old bruises they still have a ways to go though just because hoof changes color when you're trimming doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting closer and closer um but I bet if i trimmed right through that it'd probably just go away see it's already starting to go away I'm breathing kind of hard because holding these legs up he's he's sedated right now and it just puts a lot of weight for me to hold up so you just got to kind of use the muscles here that you use to squeeze your legs together to kind of hold up the weight of the horse and give yourself a good area to work with So now the name of the game is trying to identify the true apex of my frog. And I would like to try to get about 60% of the surface area behind the point of the frog and about 40% in front of it. I still have a ways to go though on these heels and clean up these commissures a little bit. Pretty deep infected central sulcus this is all just distortion just trying to find the foot You know, this distortion just traps so much garbage, manure and infection. I mean, it just allows the foot to kind of rot from the inside out. See, I've got a little bit of blood on my tools on that front foot. We hit a blood pocket. It happens, especially on these neglected horses. It's sometimes hard to tell where sensitive tissue begins and ends. Frogs all deformed. My goal on these horses that are really, uh, that are rolled under and flared out and really neglected like this, I'm trying to get the frog in the middle of the foot and have equal proportions on each side. It's what we call medial lateral balance. Getting the frog to have equal proportions from the point of the frog or a 60-40 relationship, we call that AP balance or anterior posterior balance. This frog is really deformed. Like I said, makes it tough to figure out what's what. There's usually a normal foot in here somewhere. You just gotta understand anatomy enough to go find it. We're getting closer and closer, but still have a ways to go.
see, getting closer to that frog. All false soul. <laughs> I'm stuck in my nippers. It's a little bit more straightforward. Nice big trim. Okay, we're all done with this horse. If you guys want to come a little bit closer, we can kind of talk about what we did. So like I said, on these hind feet, it's extremely difficult to get hooves that are twisted laterally to, to stand on the flat surface again, but we got them pretty close. It will take him a little bit of time to adjust to those new hind feet. The front feet came together great. You can hardly tell that they were long and neglected. Um, he's walking quite a bit better on his fronts. Um, so we're happy with the change and uh, we really hope the best for this horse. We hope we see him again in, in the next uh, six to eight weeks, but um, that's ultimately up to the owner. But I think uh, a little bit tighter of a schedule is going to really help out this horse.